All right, guys, welcome to the Mitchell Family Reality Show TV. I have made it here to our state capitol where all the teachers are on strike. Um, <clears throat> so, I want to see what I can do. Hopefully, I can. I, so, get ready for this to start. There'll be no intro. Get ready for this video to start. I'm going to try to get much information for you all. We know this is worldwide. Uh, the strikes nationwide, but it's just worldwide, country to country, state to state. So, we're going to get started right now, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mitchell Family Reality Show TV here at the State Capitol in Charleston, West Virginia, with all the teachers are on strike in West Virginia. Once again, like I said, it, this is a dedicated video for all the West Virginia teachers. Please make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the share button if you support the West Virginia teachers. So I'm going to ask this director some questions. So last year you all went on strike. Last year you all went on strike. Uh, so what answers are you all looking forward to this year? You know, this is really about uh, the bill that the Senate started and was running in regards to charter schools and ESAs and doing away with seniority and layoffs for our employees. And what we were really trying to do was kill the bill, and we believe at the end of today that, that we will achieve that. And uh, hopefully uh, our folks will tell us this afternoon everybody goes back to school. You think they'll bring it back? You think they'll try to start it back up? I don't know. They can, uh, if you listen to the folks here who are experts on parliamentary procedure, they say they have... 24 hours, uh, a legislative session. So when they adjourn today, that is their 24 hour session. So uh, we'll know by the end of the day. Is the teachers still looking for raises? Of course, they'd love to have raises, but, but just to let you know, they understood that killing this bill meant there was a possibility they would kill the pay raise, and they were more than willing to do that, and quite honestly, were happy about it. So the governor made the promise about the pay raise back in October or November. So he's trying to fulfill a promise, and of course our folks would love to have it, uh, but, but you know, that wasn't the main issue. The issue was the bad things in the bill. So. Just to let you know, I am a parent of, uh -huh. of three children that actually go to, two of them go to Ann Bailey Elementary, one of them go to Hayes Middle School, she's homebound for medical issues. But I am a parent, and this is very disappointing for our governor to let this happen. Not just that, that, how they passed that bill. You know, I followed that a, little, a lot when I came in from work and stuff. And, you know, that's really why we're out today, uh, is the underhanded way they, that the Senate and the House have both tried to pass this bill uh, without discussion, without debate. And I think that just builds up that level of distrust. And, and, and they felt this 24 hour period was needed just to make sure they were going to do what they said. I heard the government make a statement uh, last night says, go back to work today, go back to work tomorrow. He's an educator too, isn't he? Yeah, he actually has a uh, teaching degree and is a basketball, girls basketball coach at Greenbrier. Well, for the teachers to return back to work, they got to make sure this bill stays killed and we got to make sure that we keep the public schools and, and so we can educate the students like my kids and your kids. So, That's right. And, and you know, we hate for parents like you who have kids in public school. We hate that we did this. We hate we had to do it on a short notice. Our folks would rather be anywhere uh, doing anything um, than be here. I mean, they want to be back in their classrooms. They want to be back going to their bus runs. They, they, they just, somebody has to look out for public education and for the special interests and the outside folks that are trying to run an agenda. And, and it's fallen on the public, uh, the parents, and the educators. And we, we're thankful for everybody that's supporting us. So last night I heard the gentleman on the stairs, right, one of these stairs, says, don't start your engine. Does that mean the, the strike continues? Yeah, well, he was the uh, he leads the service organization, represents a lot of bus drivers. So his message to them was not to start their engines today, uh, but we had one more day. Uh, and I think all of us have a call later this afternoon with the members of our, our, our organizations 
and we'll be discussing what to do tomorrow and watching the status of the bill today and make sure it doesn't come back. And I think we'll have an announcement later on this afternoon about what we're going to do. Well, that'd be awesome to see, you know, these teachers, especially showing their appearance out here to show that they they care about our kids and the education that they want to, you know, they want to do. I know that the house here when they was I was watching. And I hate to say this, and I hate to trample on their toes, but they all act like children up there. They don't they get, don't get along, they fight, they argue. They just act like little kids, and our kids in school act more better than they do. They do, and it, it's kind of sad that, that our public debate and public discourse has gotten to this level, that we can't work together and find some compromise. But, you know, it's, we're not the only place that's like that. It's like that in other states. Obviously, it's like that in Washington, D.C., and, and somehow we have to all do a better job of looking out for all of our interests and, and, and being better citizens. You said you're with the Union of the Teachers, right? I am. I'm with the WBEA. How long have you been doing this for? Um, I was a classroom teacher uh, right out of college, and uh, I taught for a number of years, and now I've been with the Union for about 20 years. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for what you're doing out here. Hey, thank you. thanks for folks like you, and thanks for your support, and we hope everybody gets back to school soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, Thanks, Mr. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Yeah, as you heard it right there. So we're going to go try to catch some teachers and talk to some teachers, what they're looking into, okay. what they're looking for, okay? Hello, my name is Tina Randolph, and I'm a first grade teacher in Canal County at Millen Trail Elementary. So last year, uh, you all was on strike because of the, the bill passed last year about the teachers' raises and stuff money? That's correct. So this year, y'all was out about the charter bill. Yeah, the what? ominous bill that has the charter schools in it. Yes. yes. What is your thoughts about it? Um, the ominous bill as a whole is not good for the state of West Virginia, for our future, or for teachers. There are parts of it that are good and can be beneficial to the state and to the future, but as a whole, it is not good and it should be killed like it was. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said before, please make sure if you support the West Virginia teachers, make sure you hit the thumbs up and hit the share button. Because these teachers are out here supporting all, all students that they're trying to show improvement before. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with the Mitchell Family Reality Show TV. And we're here to support you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is all the teachers that are here on strike, all the teachers. Man, just pray more. Most of them, most of them probably haven't much. Maybe it's going to walk through. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so like I said, this is a dedicated video for all the West Virginia teachers. Please hit the thumbs up if you support the West Virginia teachers and also hit the share button if you support them. Ladies and gentlemen, these two ladies right here, you're a social worker? I'm a social worker. You're a social worker. You, you're out supporting? I'm an art teacher. You're an art teacher. So what's your thoughts about this? Um, well, I think it's pretty ridiculous that we have to be here. I'm really saddened that I can't be in my classroom teaching kids. Actually, we were working on how to draw faces this time, so it was pretty funny. That's been my lesson plan, and it just happened to come in handy today. What county are you from? I teach in Wayne County. Mm -hmm. I think she teaches in a different county. Well, she's a social worker in a different county. So, um, how long have you been doing this? Striking? No, how long have you been an art teacher? Oh, uh, well, it'll be my third year. I started in McDowell County, and then I worked last year at the Alternative School part-time, and then this year I got a full-time job in Fort Gay, West Virginia. How big is your class? It depends on which age group. I have kindergarten through eighth grade, so it depends on which one. Some of them, it's like 25, some of them it's like probably about 18. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. So you're a social worker. Yes. Um, what is your thoughts about this going on? Our schools need 
needs so much more to make them better. Charter schools, ESAs are not it. We need like 30 million of me in schools. I'm over, I work two schools and I'm blessed to be able to help those children. I wish I had even more help because we have a need here. Um, we have so many other things that could, be, could have been in this bill that would have been beneficial. Um, but this bill wasn't about our students. So you from, what county are you from? I'm from Raleigh County. Okay, how long have you been doing this for? I've only been in it this year, and I'm, I really want to be in for the next 20 or more. Well, you sat back last year, probably, and watched the last strike. What was your thoughts about last year's strike? I was super supportive. I actually worked across the river, um, so I heard them screaming, and I wanted to be over here, and now this year I'm over here, and I'm screaming my head off. I appreciate you being out here Thank for you. our children. I'm actually a father of three children. I actually got one that it's... Uh, goes to Hoover High School. Got one goes to uh, two goes to Ann Bailey Elementary. One goes to um, Hayes Middle School. She's homebound for medical issues. Yeah, I went to Hayes. That was Did my you? Middle school. Yeah, actually, my Hayes art teacher. He's since like he's recently retired. He was the one who inspired me to be an art teacher, and here I am. There you go. I think they really needed to ask teachers what would fix education and I think that was the worst and most egregious mm -hmm. thing is they went to outside groups to ask what should we do to fix education in West Virginia instead of asking our teachers. There's a huge disparity between counties in technology. In McDowell County we had like 10 year old iPods, iPods like the ones that you yes. listen through and that was our major technology. In Kanawha County we had brand new MacBook Pros and a one-to-one -one iPad. And then in Fort Gay, we have laptops, and half of them work, including mine, and it only works half the time. And I've had my laptop replaced twice this year for breaking, and they just replace the hard drive and keep this broken laptop in circulation. Oh, wow. So I would say increasing technology would be a big thing that would help. There you go. Anything else you want to share? No, just keep on supporting your teachers and your personnel and your staff. We're working hard to keep the kids safe and educate them, and that's why we're here. More counseling services. Yes. More counseling services. More social workers. All right. Thank you, ladies, for talking with me. Excuse me, ma'am. Uncle Sam. Uh, my real name's Perry Casto. Uh, originally from Point Pleasant, West Virginia, but uh, I teach in Huntington, West Virginia. I've been there since 2000. Uh, I teach at the Explorer Academy, uh, fifth grade teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, you may recognize this gentleman from last year's strike. They was out here last year in the same spot where they are this year. And last year was over the pay raise. This year was over the charter bill. Yes, so what, what is your thoughts about that? Well, they're just taking a page from the Alec playbook, trying to uh, disrupt and 
and take money and resources, valuable money and resources away from public education. Really just kind of strip it away. So we're here to protect our public schools and and uh, we're digging our heels in. We're not leaving. I heard they killed the bill yesterday, right? Do you think they're going to be bringing it back or they hope they kill it? With, with this group of senators, anything's possible. Nothing shocking, so you just gotta you just gotta roll with the punches. Um, so you know we're teachers. We're you know we're we're, we're able to ro- roll with the punches. So it's just another day in, in the life of a teacher. Well, I'm a father, okay. And yes, sir. I've I am got as well. Kids. I got kids in Ann Bailey, Hayes, and Hoover High School. Yes, sir. I, I so. teach. Uh, my, my, my I have daughter who's 11 as well. So uh, yeah. And it's very concerning. We're here. As, I'm here as a parent, not just that. As a YouTuber, me and my family are here to support you all. Thank, thank you, sir. So, appreciate it. when you all looking possibly maybe turn back to school? Do you all know yet? What was it again? When you all looking to turn back to school? Do you know yet? I hope as soon as possible. I hope it's tomorrow I'll go back. But who knows? Like I said, who knows with with what's what's going on? All the the shady tactics that they're they're doing and just just trying to make it difficult. On everybody, you know, they, they'd already made the decision yesterday, but you know, uh, I guess they're well within their rights to, to play dirty. Well, I heard the remark from the governor: "Go back today, go back tomorrow." What is your thoughts about that? When he said that, "Go back today, go back tomorrow." I'm not going back until it's a done deal. Until it's it's uh, for sure, then yeah, I'll go back. But if there's any sort of loophole where they're able to prolong this then no I'm not going back so that's how it is and I think 55 strong and 55 united feels the same way there you go yeah appreciate it thank you yeah Channel 13 over here. 